Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us that very first time, you know, welcome as well. It's good to have you. And our topic for you today is proven strategies for gym business growth. Proven strategies for gym business growth. Now, before we get into our topic today, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus, my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then for you folks who are looking to open a new gym and you need funding, you're looking to acquire a gym, you need funding, uh, you have an existing operation, you need working capital, you know, we can help provide funding for, from between $50,000 and $400,000 that is unsecured. Uh, there's no restrictions on use. And the basic qualification for that program is a 680 or better credit score in all three credit bureaus, uh, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and then a minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. You can check the links below under financing and funding uh, for more information on that program, as well as additional information on other financing options you know, we have for your business. Now, with that said, let's get into our topic here today, and it's the topic of proven strategies for gym business growth. I want to give you some things to think about that can help you grow your business. It won't cost you anything to do it. Okay. Number one on my list is gain an understanding of people. Gain an understanding of people. Here's what I mean by this. We want to be in the business of solving problems for folks. When you're talking to folks, you're trying to get a referral, you're trying to sell supplements, it's memberships, it's, you know, keep an appointment, uh, you know, just following up. Make sure we're solving problems. You know, like every phone call you make to somebody, every text you make, every email you take, we should be having value on every one of those. We're providing value across the board. We're solving problems for people in every step, okay? And certainly, in the sales process, it's about solving problems. So we want to gain an understanding of people and what we understand, what problem do they have and how can we help them solve it? That's really kind of what, uh, what it will come down to for you. Number two, create value at all levels. We're working to create value. Our existing members, we're on the phone, we're sending an email, we're sending a text because here's the ultimate reality on this. When value exceeds price, people will buy. When value exceeds price, people will buy. And this is going to tie back into solving problems. Okay? You know, how are we going to make someone's life better? Okay? We want to, you know, create value for folks. So when you're talking to folks, when you're preparing to make a phone call or to send an email, be mindful, you know, how am I providing value here? Number three, get creative. Get creative with this. Just because the club down the street does something doesn't mean it's working, doesn't mean it's for you. Get creative. You know, I would suggest, you know, having brainstorm sessions, you know, have round table meetings, get everyone can share ideas and share thoughts. You know, get creative on how you want to grow your business. I can give you an example is I remember a, a club I got involved with a while back and the club had really struggled and uh, had never hit the numbers really in the life of that business. And it was a nice facility, it had everything you could possibly want. And I remember walking in there and, you know, I wasn't looking to make wholesale changes because if I did, that's just gonna prolong the process of getting it turned around. And so I sat down and really interviewed, you know, every person there. And what I was really trying to get an understanding of, hey, do you have plenty of leads? Do you have plenty of people checking it out? And it turns out they did. They had big guest traffic, had high guest flow, a lot of people checking it out, but they weren't converting. And so what we did is, you know, we came up with a few things, but every week we were offering something. Maybe this week we're giving away uh, a trip. Maybe this week we're giving away a mountain bike. Maybe next week it's a free month's dues. Maybe next week it's something else. But we're always giving something away trying to create that urgency whereby now we're putting the, the, the sales rep, the membership rep in a position to at least, hey, would you like to get started? Okay, because this is ending. 
We also created sales contests, you know, whereas every day we had something, every week we had something. So it was all geared toward weekly and daily to get the, the sales team to ask and hopefully, you know, to create enough value there to get the customer to want to say yes. And just that little thing, they ended up breaking sales records at that club. And that really was the biggest change. And there were some kind of atmosphere changes, of course, but that was the biggest fundamental shift there. But, you know, get creative on this because what the core job is of management is we want to create an atmosphere that allows a motivated person to act. And if you got folks that are showing up every day, they want to earn a paycheck, they want to make money, okay, let's create that atmosphere. Okay, let's put them in the best position possible. And that's one way we did it there. But, you know, get creative on this. And there's a lot of ways we can do that. If that's something you'd like to discuss, you know, check out the links below. You can hit me up. Happy to chat with you about a variety of ways that you can get creative to help grow your business. Um, number four, create a great customer experience. Create a great customer experience. Um, this is the cornerstone. I mean, if, if you're signing people up and they're just leaving out the back door as quick as you sign them up, it's really not getting you anywhere. You know, your customer experience directly correlates to your attrition. If your attrition rate is high, and I see a lot of high attrition rates out there, if it's high, rest assured, your customer experience is not being viewed as what it needs to be. So make sure we're offering a tremendous customer experience. Have processes in place on how we're onboarding, of how we're following up with inactive. You know, we want to create uh, an environment. We want to create a community where our members feel like they belong to a special select group. And what are we doing to do that? That's what you're trying to accomplish right there. You know, celebrate member results. You know, it could be interviews, could be podcasts, could be videos, could be press releases, could be member of the month. You know, it could be a lot of things in there that you could potentially do. But you want to create this great customer experience. And the number five on my list on proven strategies for gym growth is be easy to do business with. Be easy to do business with. And it, it, this can be as simple as just removing the number of clicks a person has to make when they go to an email or go to a website. Make it a one-click option. But be, be easy to do business with. You want to simplify the operation. And I can give you an example. When I go into clubs that are, are turnarounds, they're clubs that are struggling, they're not performing like they could or should. And one of the very first things we do is we look to simplify. We want to make the operation easier to operate. Because a few things happen when it becomes easy. It becomes easy to hire people because now it's an easier operation to run. It becomes easier to keep people. It becomes easier to become more productive. It becomes easier for our customers that want to buy. So look for ways to simplify, reduce the number of moving parts. And just from a, um, a prospect perspective, I mean, generally speaking, I would say from the moment a prospect walks in to the moment they leave, you know, say 20 minutes. You know, if you're going too fast, you know, you kind of start skipping steps. You take it too long, you know, you're going to bore the customer. Okay. You know, modern selling is about fast, quick, easy, friendly is what you're looking for here. So five proven strategies for gym business growth. Take a look at these. See if these can help, you know, grow your business. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, you know, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me and learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then again, for you folks who are looking to open a new gym, you need funding. If you're looking to acquire a gym, you need funding. Uh, if you have an existing operation, you need funding, you need some working capital, you know, we can help provide funding from between fifty dollars and $400,000 in funding that is unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. Uh, the basic qualification for that program, it's a 680 uh, or better credit score in all three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and then a minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. Check out our links below under financing and funding for some additional information on that program and other uh, financing options that we have for your business. So again, my name is Jim Thomas. I uh, appreciate you being here on the channel today and we we'll look forward to seeing you all in that next video.